So today I'm talking about a P0346 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0346 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor, a circuit range performance bank two. And so what does this mean? Well, basically engines have what's called a camshaft position sensor that's just tracking the camshaft as it spins. And it's reporting this information back to the computer and that's using the information for timing of the engine. But when you get a P0346 code, the computer's seen a problem with this sensor, mainly the Bank 2 sensor A, and so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank 1 side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder, and the opposite of that is Bank 2. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or something like that, and you locate the number one cylinder on that engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be Bank 1, and the opposite of that is Bank 2. Also, an engine can have a single cam on each bank of the engine, but there can also be two cams on each bank of the engine. If you do have an engine that has dual overhead cams, then there's going to be a camshaft position sensor for each cam. So there's going to be two camshaft position sensors on each bank of the engine. Sensor A will be on the intake and sensor B will be on the exhaust. So basically, when you get this P0346 code, locate bank two side of the engine and the camshaft position sensor on the intake side is going to be sensor A. You know, one thing to mention about these camshaft position sensors is that depending on the vehicle, if the sensor is replaced, some vehicle computers need what's called a relearn. This can really vary and it's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, different things like this. Sometimes you could go replace that sensor and there's no problems. The engine starts up, there's no issues. But then other times you go and replace it and the engine won't start up. Or if it does start up, it runs really badly and really rough, something like that. And that's usually because the computer needs what's called a relearn. There's different ways to go about doing a relearn. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, some of those have an option in there where they command the computer to go and do a relearn. These are the more expensive scan tools, but if you do have a really nice scan tool, it might have the option in there to do this. Sometimes if the vehicle starts up, you can let the engine idle and drive it around a bit and the computer will automatically relearn. And this is because some vehicles, the computer will automatically relearn after a series of driving steps are done. You can also do some research and look and see if the vehicle does have this option to see what the specific steps are. But basically, just keep in mind that if the sensor is swapped out, depending on the vehicle, the computer might need what's called a relearn. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0346 code? Well, the main things that's going to cause this is either that camshaft position sensor has gone bad and needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it. And so there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. You could go and test the sensor and see if that's good. Or you could go and test the wiring and be sure you've got the right voltages going to it. But if you do go to check out the wiring, it's always going to be a good idea to get wiring schematics for that particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. There can be two wire sensors. There can be three wire sensors. There can even be four wire sensors. These three wire sensors are very common. And basically what's going on with these is that one wire is going to have voltage going to it, usually five volts. You're going to have a ground wire. And then every single time one of these tone rings on the camshaft, every single time it's directly in front of that sensor, it's going to send a signal back to the computer. And the computer is going to be able to track this and know the timing of the engine. So if you have a multimeter, you can go and check that circuit. Be sure you got voltage going to it, that you got a good ground, and that the signal wire going back to the computer, that that's good. It's also a good idea to go and check for any blown fuses, especially if you're not getting any voltage to that circuit. If you are getting voltage to that circuit, then very likely the fuse is good. But it is a good idea to go and check for any blown fuses. One method some people use to go and test the camshaft position sensor and the wiring is that they remove the sensor, they back probe into the wires, they put the key into the on position, and you should read voltage. And you should be getting roughly 5 volts. And then you put a piece of metal directly in front of that sensor, and the voltage should drop. There's some good videos on this. I've made videos on this. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you want to check that out. And this is just one method to go about testing this. There's others. If you're getting voltage to that circuit, you got a good ground and that signal wire going back to the computer, that's good. Then very likely that sensor is bad and just needs to be replaced. And of course, if you're not getting voltage to that circuit or if you don't have a good ground or anything like that, then the problem's inside the wiring. But the main things that's going to cause this is a bad camshaft position sensor, mainly that bank two sensor A, or there's some kind of issue inside the wiring. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0346 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.